You have any idea what's going on? Oh, oh my head. Oh, what happened last night? Last thing I remember. Dr. Breen and Dr. Freeman were getting up on the table dancing together, and then Dr. Kleiner was up somewhere on the ceiling. And, oh. 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 Uh, well. Uh, never mind all that. We're on duty. We've got Rabble. We've got Rabble to take care of. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Half Life Blue Shift. And, well. I guess, since we got a new weapon, it's time to try it out. Of course, these are probably these, uh, down dives. Ooh. They look like they're just a huge mouthful of caviar. Uh, <laughs> just, you know, they're probably not the best enemies to try out the new crowbar, seeing as, well, their only attack is really up close, but, yeah, whatever. Anyway. Let's move on, shall we? Uh, ignore that uh, mess with the elevator back there. We'll find another elevator and say that we successfully completed our mission. Oh, I guess we're not going that way. Maybe... Maybe this mysterious corridor filled with boxes will lead us where we need to go. Ah! Disconnect power before attempting maintenance. Well... Okay, well, let's just, uh... There we go. Disconnected the power. Now we can, uh... Maintain that door. Hmm, I thought there was stuff back there. Apparently not. Alright, maintenance time. There we go. Now it works. Just like it should. You know, they should... They should put me on maintenance. Well... Guess I'd be pay getting paid a little less then, and I wouldn't get a gun. So maybe they shouldn't. Especially because I'd have to deal with a mess like this. I mean, jeez, come on. Radioactive waste all over the place? Ugh. Oh. Can't even keep my bearings on it. Hmm. Well, let's try in here. <laughs> Still got it. No head crab's gonna sneak up on me. Oh, hmm. hello. How did you get through the power lock? Well, it doesn't matter. Well, you know, the I just. The other way out of here is through the canal. If you do make it to the surface, don't tell anyone I'm down here. I think they're trying to kill us all. Now get out of here. The no. canal is where you want to be. No, of course they're not trying to kill us. I mean, I'm gonna. Just leave me alone. I don't want them <laughs> to hear us. If you want to escape, go through the canal. I shouldn't know that they're trying to kill us from the other game. <laughs> anyway, now we're up here, we've got a perfect vantage point at those conveniently placed explosive barrels. Perfect. Not a better way to open a door than that. Can I make it down there? Uh, almost. <laughs> uh, that's... ooh. Probably the worst way I could have done it, but whatever, it was more fun. Alright, so, anyway, back to the Half-Life Blue Shift uh, bonanza. The next episode or so is probably going to be a little boring, because it's just going through... Well, pretty nondescript parts of Black Mesa. Shooting at baddies as they show up and just, well, making our way... On to the next interesting set piece, honestly. Uh, well, one of the interesting things is we will have Vortigaunt showing up in just a second. There we go, south tunnel access. Just about now, there we go. Four shots with the pistol, and easy enough. <laughs> um. And we'll actually have our first real puzzle showing up in just a second. Unfortunately, it's not really a uh, anything to compare with any of the original Half-Life puzzles, but... Well, it's a puzzle all the same. Before we get going, 
can get some health back here. We're gonna need it. Because unlike the original Half-Life, it's actually... Health picks up, health pick up, pick ups are actually pretty uh, rare in this game, I found. I was playing through it again recently and just, you know, gotta practice. Because this is such a difficult game. Oh my god. This guy was crushed to death. Well, better get a helmet so that I can protect myself. I mean, I should have said hard hat area out there, but, oh, whatever. Anyway, like I was saying, this is such a difficult game. I mean, it takes me forever to figure out this puzzle when I play it again. No, seriously, I, I actually constantly forget how you're supposed to do this puzzle, because I forget that, uh, for some reason I think that this goes up and down on that. And this does left and right, or forward and back on that. I never realized that I can move this second platform. No, 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 go back down. We should be good there. I'm just gonna save real quick. Don't pay any attention to that, of course. <laughs> and... Huh, there we go. Whew. Close one, though. Felt like we were just... Ready to slip away. Moving on. Ah, drainage canal access. My favorite tourist spot in the Battles of Black Mesa. I can't believe that Gordon Freeman didn't think to even come by here. I mean, it is a must-see spot in Black Mesa. I mean... Doors... A broken beam, ladders, and look at this. More rusty metal. <laughs> Alright, so. Well, I, I, we have another puzzle ahead of us, I just realized. We'll, we'll see in just a second now. There we go. Turning a valve. <laughs> I'm actually getting a little more sarcastic than I meant to with this episode. Because I'm realizing just, uh... Turning another valve. Alright. Crisis averted. Puzzle complete. And we get our shot- our third weapon of the game, the shotgun. Just like the original game, it has two fire modes. Primary is single barrel. Secondary is double barrel. Because, you know, we like variety in this game. <laughs> Ooh, blinking lights, don't get too excited here. I don't think I can handle it. <laughs> I do really, actually, I do enjoy this game. And I'm realizing, like I was saying, just how sarc sarcastic I'm being right now. It's just... The enjoyment comes later. <laughs> I'm really, I'm, I'm really realizing. Because um, unlike the original Half-Life, this game kind of does Zen a bit right. Yeah, as you'll all see in just a bit. Anyway, I'm really glad I remembered that ladder, for because for some reason I always forget it's there. Ah, our old friends the Barnacles. Glad to see you, old friends. Now, hmm. Hmm. I seem to remember that I may be able to just actually skip the puzzle in this section. Nope, never mind. I thought I could just <laughs> harness the power of the barnacle for myself and uh, take advantage of the fact that they lift me quite far off the ground indeed. But no, we're just gonna be doing the normal floating on barrels, jumping out of the water, boring stuff like that, you know? <laughs> Alrighty, ooh. Uh, I want your helmet. I, I need your helmet. Bastard, you're dead. You don't need it. I gotta keep checking these boxes. I'm actually losing health 
far too quickly for my own, uh, my own comfort. I know I've still got half my health left, but I should have more than that. Um, is it F? F6 for quick save, okay. I'm gonna try this. Because like I said, I'm a little worried about my own health. Well, it all worked out in the end. Ooh. <laughs> Platforming in the first person game. It never gets easier. Oh boy, excitement! Aww. I wanted to see who won. Well, I say that this guy right here, he's the loser. Well, they're both gonna lose. <laughs> Ooh, I forgot. I actually made the chest 3D. What? Forgot about that too. Disappearing corpses. What is this? You didn't have disappearing corpses in the original game. But no, I forgot that their uh, their chests are actually 3D modeled now to sort of gape open and close like a mouth. Whereas I'm pretty sure in the, um, they were just modeled, or just sort of textures before. So that's cool. I'm trying to remember. Actually, maybe Half-Life Source did have an update because this, uh, this pack was supposed to update. Or maybe it's a, I don't know. This, this pack was supposed to update. The original Half-Life with higher definition textures and all that, but now I've never seen a difference. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Anyway, we're almost actually done with the sewers. Yeah, just ignore that. I am doing a very bad, bad job at ignoring that guy. No, 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 no. No, get out of here, Lord of God! That was not my plan at all. Oh. Well, seems we're not going to be avoiding that guy at all. My plan backfired terribly because the Lord of God corpse blocked the elevator. Great. <laughs> Alrighty. What do we have up here? More boxes. Crate Demolisher Simulator 2014. 1999, I think this came out, actually. Alright. So we've got a box of TNT. What are we doing with it? Oh! Well, we've got a box of explosives. Sorry, let me rephrase that. What are we doing with it? Water comes down here. Ooh! Oh, I, I, I know not enough not to get caught in there, but... Hmm. 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 Well, I'm not gonna throw this down there, because, you know what, that would kind of destroy millions of dollars in valuable equipment, and I might lose my job. So I'm just gonna lean against here, and whoopsie-daisy. Whoopsie daisy. Oh god. <laughs> well, uh, best seat in the house, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so now we can move on. Pretty sure it can still kill you, though, so be careful. Alright, and that's it. We're done with the sewers. That one went quicker than I thought. Yeah, why are we on disposal duty anyway? Just because Shepard's team didn't make it, we have to do the crap jobs? Well, let's get on with it. Hey. You can't talk about Corporal Shepard yet. We haven't met him yet. I haven't LP'd that game yet. <laughs> anyway. We've got a new chapter ahead of us. Captive Freight, everybody. From here, it should hopefully, uh, pick up a little, because, well, we're not in the sewer level, which I know is everybody's favorite level in a video game. 
Well, with that, I will see you guys all next time as I try to get the gun and arm to be red. And yeah, there we go. And a very moody lighting once again. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Half-Life Blue Shift with me, OXFU. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye now.